Mm. And a 206 yeah. to the face is... Uh, That's what, a DD? What? DD? Oh no, 206 is uh, basically just a large torpedo boat that had a hydrofoil taped to the bottom of it. It's got an AK-230 on the nose. And the 206M has a twin 45mm auto cannon on the back. Mm. Yeah. But basically, in PT 810, which is, you know, supposedly the ultimate PT boat of the US tree, um, I ceased existing by the time I realized I was being shot every single time I have been attacked by a 206. Mm -hmm. I have the 810. Mm. Solid. I find it pretty bad. It, like, the torps are good, that's it. Yep, the torps. Because it's not the horrible pre-war torps that the early PT boats like this poor bloke next to me have. And... It's not the Mark 13 torp that some of the boats have, which is, if I recall, actually better than the Mark 13 that they've elected to let the planes have. <laughs> and this guy in his little reserve PT boat here has decided that ramming me is the best course of action. Man, this thing is huge in comparison to that one. What I really want is the like uh, not the it's not the premium one, but the one that's like three point seven. It was with a vent or something. Mm. That's eleven. That one's cool. The eight eleven. Maybe yeah. Uh, my torpedoes are literally floating on the surface of the water. What is this? Like is it the running depth? Because you can set it to no, one or four. No, as in I'll take a screenshot. I'm recording this, by the way, um, so you'll be able to see this. But when I say running along the surface, I mean they are floating above the water. In places. Kinda goofy looking. Also, that's an HMS Tiger. Wensleydale. Huh. Ah, Lawson Gromit, my childhood. I can't Jeez. see the word and not read it like that, though. <laughs> I can't stand the stuff. It's terrible cheese. I haven't had it. Okay, I think a very sharp chair. <laughs> mm-hmm. That was a little too sharp. Um, I think a very, very sharp cheddar that's very dry, very sour, and very crumbly. No, that doesn't sound nice. No, and it definitely doesn't sound like something I'd run on crackers. I do love good cheddar, but that doesn't sound great. Mm. Personally, my favorite cheese for crackers is Gloucester. I haven't had that. Or Brie. Good Brie is good. Mm. Brie is good. Um, Gloucester is very smooth and huh. not particularly sharp. Or it is sharp, but it works well with sweet crackers. Mm. But then I don't know if you get that variety of Hovis biscuit over there. Mm, probably not. You could probably find it in a <laughs> in, the, in a in an international shop of some description. I wouldn't wait for so. It's like you know how hard it is to find graham crackers in this country. Like if you find a place that's selling them, they're better. They're big, they're more than a fiver a box. Oh jeez. Yeah, it's like pop tarts. Not that anybody goes out of the way to buy pop tarts, but <sighs> they're ridiculous money. On the bright side, Costco's own brand coffee is good. Good coffee is important. Yeah, good coffee is nigh on impossible to get in this country. 
Like, unless you go to a particularly expensive coffee shop, the closest thing to a good coffee you'll get is Starbucks, if that gives you an oh. indication as to how bad the coffee here is. Oh. And I don't even ever actually get coffee from a Starbucks. The only time I get anything from a Starbucks is a frappe because it's so filled with sugar that you don't have to worry about falling asleep on a drive. And even then, the recent thing of choice for that situation has been bubble tea. Sister happens to be at university in one of the more multicultural cities in the country. And I mean that in a good way, like, Leeds is a great mess of uh, groups of people. Yeah. On the bright side, there's restaurants for, like, everything. That's good. Yeah, must have eaten at like half the Japanese restaurants in Leeds in the last six months. Not even in the last six months, like the last year and a half. But, um, this last six months I haven't been doing much of anything because, you know, country has been. Yeah, COVID. Put your left leg in, put your left leg out, in, out, in, out. Now we're changing the regulations again. I have no idea what's going on anytime in the near future, but suffice to say, I know who I'm not voting for next election. Why is my FPS thinking? Oh god, my what? Oh. I, don't know, I seem to have yes. lost like 10. It randomly drops from 60 to 40, <laughs> depending on what I'm looking at. Oh, that doesn't look very nice. Well, it doesn't look good. Just keep it up, and victory will be ours. Yeah, I have like 14 right now. Oh, that's great. I'd say something is throttling it. Probably the server. No, I mean, everything's fine here. So I'd say we're probably on a US server because I'm on the better part of a hundred ping. I'll just check that's why I have to see if I don't see them in. Nope. I'm presently having to shift my fire between three Germans. I'm presently at 15 FPS. Done. Unfortunately, this isn't a NES, so the frame rate isn't tied to the speed of the game. Done. It's weird, because when I zoom in, it's fine, but when I'm in third person, it's... So what you're saying is it's, trying to, it, it's choking trying to render. I think so, yeah. And now the rubber banding starts.
Well, that's good. I got one out of the three of them. Oh, the tiger's still alive. Impressive. Most impressive. Congratulations on becoming a floating spag battery. Thank you. My, my FPS is dying it's so hard. What's going on? Well, you're in the top half of the team still. I'm managing somehow. Less to, less, less to distract you. Oh, there's a spay coming for you, by the way. <laughs> Over there. Yes, yeah. Oh, and then I killed the guy after the game closed. <laughs> ah. See, and that was an excellent game. I only got 10,000 research. <laughs>